Hi everybody, it's Officer Elisa with the Peel Children's Safety Village. We know a lot of the younger students in our communities are currently learning about community helpers. So they're learning about police officers, paramedics, firefighters. So we wanna help you guys out with that. So over the next few days, keep an eye out for some videos that are gonna tell you a little bit about police officers and about our jobs. Now today, we're gonna to start off with a great question from our friends at Burnt Elm Public School. That question was, how do sirens work? So to answer that, I'm gonna use this piece of equipment behind me. Now we use this in all of our community helpers classrooms, and we love it because it helps us to teach all the kids at one time the types of things that they would see inside a police car and how those things work. This is some of the equipment that you will see in most police cruisers. So the first is the radio or the walkie talkie, like some of our friends like to call it. We use this to talk with our other officers and our dispatchers, and we tell each other where we are, who we're with and what we're doing, and that lets us keep each other safe. The next is a computer. So we use the computer to do a lot of different safety checks, which helps us to keep ourselves safe as well as everybody else in our community. So we can do checks on people, places, and vehicles. And then we have the panel for the emergency equipment, which is always the favorite part when our classes are here. So this panel, all of these buttons and switches control the lights and sirens. The reason that we have lights and sirens in our police cruisers is it's our way of telling everyone around us that we are going to an emergency, which means we're going to help people. And we're asking them to please move out of our way so we can get there quickly and safely.